Welcome back to the Meth Review Area YouTube. This is the first ever Christmas haul video where I'm going to discuss everything that I've received for the holidays. Um, hopefully this becomes an annual thing as the channel starts to grow um, and I get to show off my new loot every year. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the knives. And I'm going to introduce you to them in the order in which I received them. So the first one Ooh, yep, there it is. Hard to do behind the camera. Cold Steel Code 4. Uh, I put this knife on a Christmas list of mine on Amazon and had my wonderful aunt and uncle order it for me. Um, shout out to Uncle Doug, Aunt Joanne. Thank you so much. Um, I cannot wait to start carrying this thing every day and uh, get some hard use out of it. Um, haven't used it a lot right now. Uh, still trying to get the back lock to wear in a little bit to where it's a little bit easier to close. Um, I'd say it's working really well. I believe it's uh, bronze um, washers in here that help it open very smoothly. The lock back still needs to be broken in. <clears throat> Triad lock, I can tell, is going to be amazing. It really is everything that people brag about. So from there, I received the Ontario Model Rat 1. Um, I have always been impressed uh, by how much, I don't know, publicity this knife receives. Um, ooh, check out the band-aid. I'll tell you about that later. Anyway, uh, this knife is everywhere. <clears throat> I saw it for a great deal at Walmart, <clears throat> told my brother about it, and he was nice enough to pick that up for me for Christmas. It is a Ontario Model Rat 1. Got it for a steal for like $27. Blade HQ sells it for like $34. This is the Let's see if I can zoom in here. OS 8 version. Uh, there we go. OS 8 version, not D2. But so far I've gotten the most use out of this knife. I actually used it to carve up the Christmas roast. And I will throw some video or some pictures, actually, into the video um, of that roast. Because I'm going to talk about that little book over there here in a second. And then finally, the TRS, or the... Threat Response Solutions Striker. And it has almost this wave feature that works super well. You know, the famous Emerson wave feature. They call this the Quick Draw Pocket Hook. Not really sure where this knife came from. Uh, my wonderful father, I believe, picked that up for me. A nice Tanto style blade. Um, I'm really excited about this knife uh, because can't find anything else about it. So, um, hopefully you guys will, you know, wait around and see what I think about it. It's got real G10 scales. It's only 7 C 7CR17 MOV, so it's not incredibly um, resistant to rust. They recommend, even on the box, it says, you know, if you get any water around it, <clears throat> please throw some oil on it. But, so far, the wave feature type deal, or their pocket deployment hook, or whatever they call it, works super well, fast out of the pocket. It's got three modes of getting the blade out. So it's got the pocket assist, it's got thumb studs, ambidextrous, wow, that was a bad one. That's on me, not the knife. There we go. And, as well as a flipper. So, definitely looking forward to checking that out. <clears throat> of course, it's also time for me to be the Yeti fanboy that I am, and test out the 14-ounce... Rambler mug, or camp mug, I believe they're calling it. Um, I also got a uh, mag lid, mag slider lid, to throw on top of here, because um, I think that'll help. Uh, some people have been complaining about this particular model. They don't think it's as thick of metal. I'll test that out, obviously. Uh, but then, why it's cooling down faster than others, and I'm no scientist, but I believe it has to do with the amount of air surface area there is... Um, for air to make contact with the lid, right, versus how deep it is. So this is practically the same height as their this right here, which I have, which is their little 10-ounce low ball, I believe they call it. But see, it's the same height, but there's far more surface area for air to make contact and transfer heat. So I think that has a lot to do with why people are complaining about that. And I'm definitely going to reach out to Yeti about that, although I'm sure they have a team of engineers working on how to solve that, or they feel they already solved that. Oh, you see the gray sweatshirt? I'm not going to tell you what it is. Okay, I am going to kind of tell you what it is. Right here, grunt-style apparel. 
Yep, I'm not going to show you it, but if you want to see it, smash the like button. And I'm thinking about starting a vlog. What? A vlog. Yep. So if you want to see a meth review vlog, start smashing the like buttons on all the videos. We'll see what we can do. Hardy gloves. I believe these come from Harbor Freight Tool. Really excited to check these out. I told everybody I want a pair of gloves so I can, one, work on my car, two, shoot with them, and not really have a loss of tactile feel. Plus, these um, thumbs seem to be working with my smartphone. By the way, smartphone, here's an update for you. Pixel 2 XL on its way in. For those of you who don't know, I do shoot all of my videos on my smartphone, which is currently the Nexus 6, and so I'm really excited to get a real camera upgrade. Hopefully the audio is just as good. I've heard some feedback that people like the audio from these videos with this microphone on the Nexus 6. So hopefully it stays just as good. To prove to you that I'm not a Yeti fanboy, I am going to do a review on this Aladdin stainless steel vacuum insulated tumbler. Someone who did not know about my love and passion for Yeti has gotten me a different tumbler. And I'm totally okay with that because I want to see how it performs. Um, put it up against it and maybe my love for Yeti is wrong. So this will be tested, I promise. Uh, this is also a electronic um, review uh, video site or on YouTube, right? It's a review channel. Wow, I slipped up there. So you're going to see my feelings on the Tritons, the Kama, Kama headset. Okay, cool. We're going to see what that's all about. My brother got them for me uh, because he's tired of listening through the little microphone that I have for my Xbox. Um, he's tired of hearing the game noise coming through my TV. So thanks, bro. I know this was kind of a selfish gift from you, but they're going to be awesome on the channel. Um, ooh, Cook's Meat Book. Okay, I'm going to start showing you some recipes from this. Um, every now and then. Uh, I'm not actually going to show you the actual recipe, but I'm going to start showing you results from ways that I cooked meat from this. It's got all sorts of information in it about different cuts of meat for beef, pork, and poultry. Um, I did one of the roasts in here, one of the beef roasts for Christmas dinner, and I'll tell you what, it came out awesome. It was literally just the slow roasted beef roast. See if I can find it. Yeah, there it is. I marked it and everything. Slow roasted beef. <clears throat> and so I'm going to start showing you results from that and roll in pictures. Yep, those are a good looking roast, right? And guess what I sliced that up with? Ontario Model Rat 1 because... Of course, between my father and my brother, they can't keep a sharp knife in the house. So luckily, I just got in this thing and whack, whack, whack. Nice roast pieces. I've also made a PB&J with this in the past few days. Versatile? I think so. And finally, this bad boy right here. Bum, ba, lum, ba, lum, ba, ba. Grandma felt like the family needed to be more emergency prepared. And so what do we get? We got some emergency packs for three days... Um, of rations for emergencies. Um, they're packed by an independent company. I'm going to find out more about that. Uh, everything in here looks like it's pretty good quality, and it is a great place to start for like a bug out bag, an emergency preparedness bag. Not really a fan of that whole bug out bag thing because a lot of people that have them don't actually have a place to bug out to. But this is definitely um, a good thing for winter storms. I don't live in a place where there's hurricanes, but potentially earthquakes or volcanic eruptions up here in the Pacific Northwest. That can happen. So. A lot of upcoming reviews here on the channel. Things for me to talk about. Um, I'm super excited because all these Christmas gifts, and I can't thank everyone who got them for me enough because they give me a chance to create content, which I love to do. I know I don't put out a lot of content, and I'm not on a consistent schedule, but I would like to be soon, right? Um, I think right before this video is going to drop, I'm going to post a review on a GoPro camera I've been using since May, so about seven months of use. I've been on three really cool adventures with it. Hope to do many more. Also, smash the like button, leave a comment if you feel like you want to see GoPro videos from me. Like I said, vlog, maybe GoPro. The website thing really hasn't panned out yet. Um, I just haven't been able to create content fast enough to start one. So maybe a blog? Would you rather see a vlog or a blog? Leave a comment about that too. So this has been the um, showing you everything we got for Christmas. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. I'll catch you less next time here in the Meth Review area. Thanks again.